Hey, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. I had recently posted a video talking about my week one recovery from the NIST and Fun Vacation. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my recovery from week two from the NIST and Fun Vacation. So during week two, I had tried doing the Ensure Clear and Zero Sugar Powerade. I had initially tried regular Sugar Powerade, but um, I found out that sugar is really bad for swelling. So try to avoid sugar for week one and two if you can. Um, definitely, I suggest zero sugar Powerade. Um, and I suggest doing zero sugar Powerade over water. I didn't have water for week two at all because water, my surgeon said that it can be really sticky, kind of like saliva is. So if you can do something that's like a Powerade, it's actually better than the water and all you're really looking to do on week two is to just make sure you're not you don't get dehydrated you're not looking like oh well how is, it, is this going to benefit my health or amount of nutrition and stuff like that you're just you're just trying not to be dehydrated so definitely get zero sugar powerade and you're definitely going to lose weight like that's going to happen i went into the surgery at 120 pounds and i'm three and a half weeks post-op today and I'm 103 pounds. You're going to lose weight. It's going to happen. Um, so definitely just try to focus on staying as hydrated as possible. And so definitely suggest your sugar Powerade. And for week two, that's that's really all that I did. I just, I drank zero sugar Powerade. I was behind a week because in week one I was hospitalized. So I didn't really feel that extravagant to like try soft food until week three so I was doing the Ensure Clear and Powerade and I had a little bit of chicken broth and stuff like that but I mainly stuck to the zero sugar Powerade for for a week um the gas pain is still there during week two still have some gas pain I was still having some trouble being comfortable um walking around helps like so do do a few laps around your house if you don't want to go outside um but just do laps and stuff like that it does really help with the gas pain um my gas only lasted two weeks so at the end of the two weeks my gas pain went away my gas pain in my shoulders and back and stuff like that went away um i still have i still had trouble sleeping um I've had, I also had swallowing issues still, like, and you can feel the liquid go down as you're swallowing, and it does hurt, it does hurt when you get the liquid at the bottom, um, so if you feel discomfort or pain from it passing through, it's not unusual, it's not something to be worried about, it is painful, um, it's gonna, it, my liquids don't hurt as much anymore, and I'm in week three and a half, so, they don't hurt as much anymore, but they do hurt in the beginning, so that's not uncommon. Um, I also still had pain and nausea in week two, so definitely get ahead of the pain. If you feel even just a little bit of pain or a little bit of nausea, please take the medication. You don't want to get too far behind it, and then when you take the medication, it doesn't help. Um, you don't have to take a full dose of the pain meds because they'll give you liquid pain medication. I never have taken a full dose of it. You don't have to take a full dose of it, but at least take like half a dose or a quarter of a dose, like something to get ahead of the pain so the pain doesn't get extremely bad. There were some nights that I would have to get up and walk around because um, I still, I just, I, I haven't been, I hadn't sleep, I haven't been sleeping very well either. Um, it's just a side effect and if you have difficulty sleeping, it's okay. I did too. Um, walking around helps. So pace, even if it's in the middle of the night, if you're having pain or don't feel well and having difficulty sleeping, um, go walk around. Um, and that's def that's basically my week too. I was just on zero sugar Powerade and taking the medication when I needed it and um, still having gas pain. And I definitely recommend walking around a lot. Um, that 
yeah, that was my week too. So, but if you have any, and, it, and swallowing, the swallowing issues and pain, that's not uncommon. So definitely don't be worried about that. Um, but if you, and yeah, if you have any questions, um, definitely leave a comment. I'll do the best I can to respond. And um, thank you for watching.